spotlight on industry. In London, members of the Anglo-American Productivity Council get together before a nationwide tour of British industries. With its aim to increase production on the American pattern, the council hears Sir Frederick Bain, FBI chairman. Mr. Reid, on behalf of the British members of this council, I wish to welcome the American members and to express the hope that these meetings and visits to our factories will prove of practical benefit to Britain in its production drive and that our visitors in their turn will be able to learn something from us. Eleven major industries are under close quarter scrutiny. The Staffordshire potteries exemplify the craftsmanship on which the name and prestige of British manufacture is based. The council hopes that output will benefit by the union of this traditional skill with American mass production methods. The council got away to a bad start. Public opinion resented the implication that anything we can do, the Americans can do better. But the tour enables the British worker to demonstrate a skill second to none. From the evidence of British craftsmanship before them, the council learns that Britain still has plenty to teach America. Foreshadowing still closer cooperation, America's Philip Reed says, We, on the American side of the Anglo-American Council on Productivity, feel that we can learn much from Britain. If, perchance, we can help Britain to increase its product productivity, we shall be both proud and happy. <laughs>